A lot of entrance tonight for the first VOD of all you guys running. 600 plus entrance. Big shout outs to everybody tonight, man. 600 plus entrance. Crazy. But you know what's even crazier? Kabakazi joining for two years oh. of sub. Yo. Enough of that. Let's get into the match. Thanks for the, the sub, man. Two years. That's a long time, dude. Oh, yeah. Appreciate that. So let's see, let's see how this matchup goes. I mean, of course, everyone knows this is a really bad matchup for DVD. Just because I, I don't want to state the obvious, but yeah, he, he's super big and hit Gordo's back really easily. Joker gets free RC if he decides to down the Gordo's. It's just really difficult. But the thing is, you know, DD can always uh, rely on some hard reads to kill Joker pretty early, I would say. Right now, he's doing a pretty good, decent job, too. I also want to see how well he can uh, edge guard our Sims Joker, too, if he gets him off stage. Yeah. Joker's up B with our Sims. Not super difficult to uh, to hit. So, if he gets an opportunity like that, it might be good for him. I was going to say, like, for Mercury in this matchup, from what I understand, is, like, you want to go for that Rebels guard when you don't have it ready. Oof. Your down smash is actually able to poke through. See, we talked about this earlier. You said Chazo loves to go through that for that up air above the ledge, and that's really good for Mercury to just call that out. You don't want him to feel comfortable going for something that he knows he can get away with. You want to keep up the pressure even when he's off the stage. Yeah, that was a really good punch for Mercury. Especially because, like you were saying, um, Chazo really likes to go for that upper view ledge strategy, but the very first time he tried to use it, he died for it, so he might not go for it anymore. At least not for a while. Oh, yeah, Mercury, really good movement right now. He, he's avoiding most of the DD setups. He'll, he'll get some trades here and there, but he's not getting hit by the things that lead to him being killed. He's just playing very safe. Oh, Under no, there missing is, there. Like, that was good, though, because yeah. he, he took the inhale. He said, you know what? The worst thing could do with Aha as an inhale is send it back out with me, and even then it sends it at a low angle, and then he found a cross up afterwards. So you can look that he's playing this matchup pretty well. Like, see, he gets yeah. time to kind of try to cross him up after the inhale. Yeah, he's just playing smart around Dee's tools right now, which is, you know, what he should be doing. There's that free Arsene meter, the Rebels Guard coming clutch on the Gordo. Let's see if he can make use of uh, having Arsene right now, though, because still needs to get this kill. Raise Dee can be pretty scary. Oh man, look at the guns. <laughs> Almost invalidating that move. I respect it though, because he sees he has Arsene, but you want to oh. play patient, because Chazo really understands, okay, he's got Big Brother activated. The best thing I can do is to try to read his approach, or his over approach in this case, oh. and then call him out. But you can tell the Mercury's just really patient, even if he's using the meter. And the patient pays off with the back air and a huge lead still for Mercury. Oh, there's a jam. The, the, <laughs> the skill check option. Yeah. He has armor on it too, so a lot of people try to attack him uh, while he swings it out and they'll just get blown up by that move, but uh, Mercury's even playing around that as well. Oh, see, I, oh. see, this is what I'm talking about. The Rebels Guard is really good because if you read DDD's over approach with Gordo, that's all, almost borderline free Arsene with the amount of damage Gordo does, and then DD usually following up with like a forward air. So he's yeah, playing even, this really well. Even if he doesn't... Um, attack after getting hit by the the arson or by after absorbing the gordo with arson you can just do the attack after he releases rebel's guard it's like another hitbox dd has to shield he almost has enough for another oh there it is <laughs> i like it too because oh, he checks himself and he goes for the jump a lot of players usually want to save that jump from the ledge recovery and go for an up b so it's really smart for him to just go okay you know, let me burn my jump i have arson i'll be fine yeah I don't like to call it, but right now it just seems like Chavo is just trying. Oh, there it is. Okay, there's a backer. But yeah, a lot of his strategies. Ooh, he got hard red. That's like the Wi Fi classic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, read. That's yeah. like you literally just come down with invincibility and F smash the opposite way because people always panic roll. Yeah, so you, just, you just do that. People but, usually uh, do a panic roll or they'll do like, they'll start dash dancing in place for no other reason. Yeah, it's really easy to get on people. But uh, yeah, that was really good. The thing about playing Divi is he, a lot of his setups rely on um, Gordo, and the way Mercury is playing, he's just he's not letting him do that at all. And it sucks because it's hard to mix up approaches without using Gordo. All right. So it's like, man, do I keep using this move even though it's getting me punished heavily? What else can I really do, though? Yeah. So I don't know. I think Chazo is thinking of changing. 
If I were him, I would change. Steve would be a pretty better option because Mercury had that matchup downloaded from day one. He wasn't really yeah. following into, like, I, if you guys pretty much paid attention to the whole match, he wasn't falling into anything. If anything, he was looking to see how he was going to check Chazo on his check on him, kind of like a reverse check, I would say. And then seeing if I like, okay, you want to go for a hail? Fine. I go for an Aha. You go for the re you go for the reflect on that, and that gives me time to cross up, right? You, things like that. Yeah. Even the ledge trapping wasn't working. Like it, when he had a student, especially, he would just jump from ledging, use the counter, yeah, uh, to, to <laughs> Gordo right back in his face. Uh, honestly, uh, he's choosing to stay deity right now. So let's see if he has an answer. I'll be. I like to see it. I just did 48. <laughs> he got double hit by the Gordo. That's unfortunate. Just just for trying to play neutral. But I, I don't know. We'll see. See what Chazo can do. That's a good ledge trap there. Okay. That's a big combo. Okay, he wants a jet hammer early kill? Yeah, there's the armor gun. Mercury avoided dying, but uh, yeah, he thought the guns might, you know, hit DDI that animation. Nah, he, he can just still keep swinging. Oh, okay, that's a good trade for Akazo. You have two really good Gordo hits there. Alright, Arsene's out of the picture, so this is a good position, I would say. Nice, nice. Timing on the back. Okay, that's good for Chazo, man. Getting the first dog as a heavy is honestly really good. Especially a killer like DV. He can stall pretty well if he chooses to with all the multiple jumps he has. And he's he's really heavy too. He can hold on to stock forever. But, yo, that hard read of Smash, yo, Mercury, kind of uh, taking a lot of unnecessary percent here. Oh, what a kill, read, but, what a read. Oh, big DV is going to lift that charge down Smash. Seeing him the opposite side of the stage, pretty unfortunate for Mercury, but again, Chazo, he's, he's looking really good in this game. He keeps racking up all the safe percent. Oh, another back here. Okay, Joker's at kill percent now. Going for the dash attack to get the early kill at the ledge too. Nice. Very ticking. deceptive hitbox. Yeah. And it's good for him to Just go for taking. back a little bit. Yeah, it's good for him to go for taking him there in that specific situation because it's a, it's registered as an actual physical hit, like in the Ooh. game. Ooh. And it can send back the Gordo, but what a read on Chazo, man. Sensing that over-aggression coming out from Mercury. I think the stage definitely changes the dynamic for Mercury. He does get the confirm into the up smash, but you can see how the stage has changed. It's Chazo kind of getting things on Mercury, as we saw last match, where it was Mercury getting a lot on Chazo. Tries to go for that really big Rebels guard, but he does have Arison activated. Good for him to go for that, and the quick reflector, 44%, man. Mercury is looking to fight back. I mean, definitely, if any time to make the comeback is now that he has our sin, can just snowball really hard if he gets a good hit. That's the the beauty of this character, I would say. Yeah, the comeback Little factor is real. Off. Okay. Oh. Yeah. He's the recovery, but he's taking a lot of percent off stage now. Goro getting stuck on the ledge. I think Mercury's just gonna respect the space he has on the stage. Uh, look at that top tier recovery yeah. frames on that forward smash. Enough for him to actually go for a backer yet again. Yeah, this is Edge Guard City here. Unfortunately, that will get hit by the Gordo. This gives Charles a little bit of breathing room here, man. He's looking for a way to fight back on the stage. Yeah, he's looking for that roll up to the up to buffer D is pretty good. Just that extra knockback really helps. Just because that up to decent range, and it's pretty quick too. It's one of his quicker kill moves he has, so Charles is looking for it when he can find the opening. And uh, yeah, man, this rage he has too is uh, pretty scary right now. Oh yeah. Mercury is very close to dying. He could have actually gone for a fastball and air up there, there most likely DV. Oh my god, that was unfortunate. The, the the fact that he still had the awareness to counter that uh, dash attack though was pretty good for him. Because he got the kill and he has Arsene now. Yeah. Oh, Chazo with a really good read. He wanted Mercury to be forced to jump there with the Gordo, and he tried to make that early read. Unfortunately, Mercury has a lot of patience. Forward throw. This is a lot in Chazo's hands. It's Mercury's game to lose. Unfortunately, the deep Nine. end taking. Oh, there it you know. is. There's the down taunt. Oh, you know, you know, Mercury's tight about that. That's one of the most tilting things to ever lose to DD online. They it's... beat you with some cheese, and then they do that that down, <laughs> that crouch on you. Oh, you, you know you it know, hurts, you know, but hey, we'll, we'll take it, we'll take it. You know it hurts, bro, but you know, you know he didn't deserve it because he was about to lose it. He know he knows that you know what if Mercury had stayed on the stage for maybe two more grabs, two more solid reads, two more confirms, two of anything at that point. It was curtains for Chazo, and Mercury would be sitting there pretty nicely with the 2-0 and the GGs. 
But Chancellor knows, man. You know what? He went. I think that take game off the stage was a little bit too risky to go that low from. Because it was no. I, but I respect it. Like, you, it, because it's registered as a physical hit, just like in the actual game, it'll send back the Gordo. But unfortunately, I think for Mercury, he should have just been looking to come back on the stage. It's extremely hard to avoid that Gordo off stage like that. I mean, that yeah. Off. Honestly. He probably could have saved a jump, did Rebel's Guard, and then maybe made it back with the tether, but that's neither here nor there. He actually did drop that game after having a super dominant game one, so yeah. good stuff to uh, Chazo. And now, uh, actually getting to run it back on PS2, I don't ever agree with doing this, but hey. <laughs> Wait, let's see if Chazo um, pays for letting Mercury go back to the stage you want on or not. I actually but, think the platforms helped him out a lot because the Gordos can go at a, a much easier trajectory to reflect, I would say. Yeah, Outside, but just, like the, the wide range of FD, we can use a little bit more. But you, we'll see. Yeah, you have to think about also the extra movement that you kind of give Joker a little bit to have those platforms. That's a skill check. Or, oh, careful. Nice. Good back here out of the shield with stage control in mind. Mercury with the double jump to get around the Gordo. Looking for the read and the nice. quick ledge back here. What a play. See, Joker's one of the characters in this game that can actually abuse ledge jumping heavily, especially when he has the range of Arsene back here. It kills really early, and it'll almost hit every character's uh, ledge jump animation. I'm pretty sure it hits all of them. I haven't missed one yet, but... Yeah, it's it's really, really damn good. And uh, Mercury's actually very good at timing those uh, ledge jumps, too. I don't know why. A lot of people forget some options, so they're not ready to deal with it. But, damn, Mercury's turning up a lot. Even on this stock without the Arsene, being really good combos. Really just abusing the uh, huge body of Deity as much as possible. Okay, Chazo. Trying to get a ledge trap with the Gordo again. Nice. Yeah, Catch nice. Goal, what you want. I'm actually surprised he opted to go for neutral good up there because he was doing a good job just jumping from the stage and using Rebel's Guard on that. Yep. But we'll take it. Cross up. There's oh. the forward smash. I don't even know if that was a missing put on the forward smash because it's Deity and they always throw that move out randomly. Oh. Okay. A lot of pressure here, but this is good combo. Yeah, for, good for uh, Mercury Chazo. to yeah, and good for Mercury to change the landing here. He's got such a lead. I like the Rebels Guard because it's gonna call up the Gordo, but that's good enough for Chazo to get the grab. Oh, Skill check here, nice like double jump. Yeah, I like that he canceled the J Hammer early as soon as he got our sync, because he might have just <laughs> exploded for throwing out that move too long. Yeah. If you look at the way that Chazo plays in particular, and something that Mercury definitely understood oh. the first time these two played, is that Chazo uses Gordo to force Mercury to pick an option in which Chazo can react to. It's usually how you would use most projectiles. But now that Mercury has Arsene activated, it's Chazo on the running end oh. and a back air to send that end off to a two-stock lead for Mercury. Always feels bad when you die to the last sliver of Arsene meter. You, all, you literally just had to camp for half another second, <laughs> and you might have been alive. But still has an opportunity to kill Joker. The Arsene meter is pretty, pretty scary right now, though. It's almost fully charged again while he has this stock. Oh. But good punish on the Rebels guard, actually. Very good spacing. And now we have a basically even game. Nice falling there up tilt. Pretty much evened it up with one combo. Okay, Charles is going from one side of the stage to the next, trying to get as much space as possible to start setting up the Gordo. It's working out pretty well for him so far. Yeah, you have okay. to you have to give Mercury a little bit of respect here because he's going very That's aggressive crazy, against Chazo, and Chazo is able to just understand that aggression and then punish him for it. What a crazy play! Oh the no, come on, oh. man. No, he wanted to see if he would panic roll. It would have killed probably, so I don't think. Now this is Mercury's game to lose here. One big mistake, and Chazo could definitely steal a he lot of this. He run away! Mm. He has <laughs> That's a lot of shield pressure. That's a lot of shield pressure, man. Uh, yeah, that shield pressure was disgusting. He was like, I'm going to match on you right now. I have, like, a pixel of arson left. And if you just panic and press anything that's punishable, you're, you're going to die to something.